Miss Joanne Rowling. She, her entire personality and career and everything is basically about trans people at this point. Even the books that she writes at this point are about the scary, evil threat of cross-dressing males and the fact that they, they make your self-defense instincts not work as good. And then, oh, he can get close to you and then he'll commit a sex crime on you and then he'll murder you. Like, this is the bogeyman that lives rent-free in Joanne's brain. It's like the, it's like the meme where Spongebob is laughing through all the walls and floors, but it's just trans people. We're just, we're in the walls. Yeah, she's got so much beef <laughs> with trans people, you could call it Arby's. <laughs> call, yeah. Oh man. So in this particular instance, she's quote tweeting something or whatever. So the person said, so only equipment makes one a woman. That seems a very narrow view of what makes a person a woman. What if you have female equipment, but never have children? Are you still a woman? Is it just having the equipment or must you use it? What if you have both sets of equipment? JK says, you've asked me several times, several questions on this thread and accused me of avoiding answering. So here goes. And then we can't read the rest of this because this is a screenshot. But I believe a woman is a human being who belongs to the sex class that produces large gametes. It's irrelevant whether or not her gametes have ever been fertilized. Okay, and then she continues like, okay, we get it. We get it, Joanne. We get it. Like there's, I just call her Rowling, military way of referring to her. She is not worthy of my addressing her by a first name. I like calling her Joanne because she shortened her name in order to be an author. Like she, she deliberately left off that her name was a female name. So I like calling her Joanne because it seems like she doesn't like being called that. Like she's still on Twitter as JK Rowling. That's it. And it's actually, it's JK Rowling. I know how to correctly pronounce it. I won't. Sorry, not doing it. Um, but yeah, so it's pretty sad that this is her entire personality. It's the only thing she cares about. It's the only thing she talks about. Like it's all she does now. And even Elon Musk says, while I heartily agree with your points regarding sex slash gender, may I suggest also posting interesting and positive content on other matters? Imagine if Elon Musk told you to touch grass. You know what I mean? It's it, it's like, yeah, what is, what is in your life other than this? Do you ever talk to your kids? Do you ever go play cricket? Do you ever go like for a walk? Do you ever see a pretty flower? Does she ever post anything else than this. And like, I wonder if it's because Elon is concerned about the, he wants to make more money on the platform, obviously. So if JK Rowling is not just a turf, but she also talks about other things, like, of course, Elon Musk wants to bring interesting and positive content to the platform. Like, I, I don't know if she actually responded to this. I don't even know if it matters. I don't even know if it matters if she responded to this. I just think it's really, really, really funny. If you're enjoying this video, hit the like button. Maybe subscribe, hit all notifications if you want. Feel free to check out the links in the description. You might find some merch you like, or you can hit up the Patreon to support the content and find free stuff. It's like she wanted to sound smarter than saying just XX chromosomes and made it so much weirder as a result. I mean, that's the thing. They have to say of the sex class that makes the largest gametes because they already know that not every woman has XX chromosomes. They've already had this gotcha, so like, the definition has to keep getting longer and more abstract because it doesn't work. Yeah, this man baby who absolutely needs to touch grass is out here telling someone else to touch grass. Yeah, the most divorced man in the world. I saw an ad on Twitter today that says, yes, vaccines do cause autism. The site is not doing well. Oh no, it's not doing well. JK can't have breakfast without blaming her burnt toast on trans women. Uh, how could trans women do this to me? just a big baby. She's just a big, big, big baby. Sometimes these people, you know, accuse trans people of not having anything else going on. And yeah, for the first year or two that you're on hormones, it is like the main thing that you're thinking about because you're wanting all these changes. You're looking, you're like hyper analyzing your face in the mirror. Like you're like, is my ass bigger? Or like, is my voice getting deeper? You know, you're thinking about a lot of different things like that. So yeah, for a couple of years, it tends to be a little bit all consuming for people, but you know, we have a lot of other stuff going on. In fact, I know a lot of trans people, myself included, get really tired of talking about trans stuff at a certain point. And of course we get pigeonholed into this. So it's like, you still kind of have to talk about it or other people will bring it up. Even if you are trying to, like, if you're trying to be a person who talks about Star Trek or Magic the Gathering, 
there are going to be people who won't let you talk about that without pointing out your gender, you know? So, but I know so many trans people who have wonderful hobbies. I'm into archery. I've met other trans people who are into archery. I've met lots of trans people who, yeah, like I said, they like Magic the Gathering or they like Star Trek or they like hiking or working on cars. Like we are human people who have other stuff going on. And yeah, you might find some younger, like I don't mean younger in the sense that they're like earlier in their transition, like baby transes who talk about it a lot or sex accounts who talk about it a lot because that's part of why people buy their porn is because they are trans. So of course that is like sexualized trans content is part of their platform online. Yeah, some people do focus in entirely on the trans stuff, at least temporarily. But like, I really rarely see a trans account post exclusively about trans issues in the way that JK Rowling posts exclusively about trans issues. Yeah, I hadn't even really thought about my transness for years until trans people started getting attacked by famous people and governments started taking things away from us. Invariably, it's always someone with no understanding of the intricacies of biology who pretends to have some objective and nuanced understanding based in biology. Like, oh, it's just such obvious basic biology. Oh, I'm sorry, you never made it to advanced bio? Shut the fuck up then. <laughs> I would imagine her definition makes exceptions for people who would produce eggs were it not for some biological defect. I mean, yeah, that's what belonging to the sex class that produces these gametes. Like, so even if, like, if you are basically phenotypically female, if you look female, for some reason you are infertile and don't pr produce the gametes. Well, you were still born as part of the sex class. And like, I mean, she's not wrong in that you will still be subject to misogyny and attempted reproductive control, even if you are not personally capable of having children. But that's like where the logic ends, truly. Oh yeah, I think that's fair. Um, back in the day, ContraPoints made a point about how these people will whinge about trans-inclusive language like birthing persons or whatever, but then they refer to themselves as large gamete producers. They're accusing us of reducing women down to their bodies, and yet they're the ones doubling down on, well, <laughs> it's about the gametes that you produce. Yeah, it's bending over backwards and being overly wordy to avoid accidentally being openly circular. Yeah, like I said, the definition has to get longer and weirder in order for them to avoid it's just constant goalpost shifting. If they say chromosomes and then we prove that chromosomal anomalies are very common, well, that kills their point. So then they have to move the goalposts to producing large gametes. Like, okay, well, what about people who don't produce gametes? What if they were born never doing it? Like, what if it's a female who was born with internal testicles? Or what if it's a person who's had a hysterectomy? Like, okay, that's not, you can't define it on that. They're just going to keep shifting the goalpost until they find a definition that's kind of harder to po poke holes in, but it's mostly because it's a nonsensical, like, yeah, belonging to the sex class. Okay, what is a sex class? Yeah, Foucault spinning in his grave at the word sex class. <laughs> Raising chickens makes me a large gamete producer. True. Anyway, dumb people keep being dumb. News at 11. Back to you for the weather. Thank you so much to all of my patrons, especially Tiago Nascimento, Mersh Rolvog, Michelle Frateroli, Amanda B., Michelle Winter, Wellington Marcus, Danielle McDonald, DZXN, Suzanne Maynard, Spooky Heather Sylvia, LV Nobody, Pastinal Infinity, Jamie Jam, Nova, Sojo, Elizabeth Bartell, Kevin Young, Athiette, Celeste, Desi Quiche, Liam Hodgson, Mr. Atheist, and Jack.